Is too many imports in your code a bad thing? Yes, it's noise. It's classic noise. If I open up a Java source file, assume it, the first thing I see is a huge, great, typically, and this is for many languages, the first thing I see is a huge, great copyright statement, which is obviously incredibly useful. Um, and, uh, you know, exactly what you wanted to look for, the terms and conditions and all the rest of it. Um, so a practice that I'm pretty sure that John Jagger told me a few years ago um, was you put all the noise at the back. If you need the copyright statement, you put it at the end and you have a little bit at the beginning that says, you know, look to the end. You don't want to read all that stuff. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. It's not the first thing you want to see. Yeah? It's, there's, a, there's a thing. You want to drop people into the action. Here is the stuff of interest. Oh, it's not actually the copyright comment. It's the imports. Again, not interesting. Um, so is there a way around this? Yes, it turns out back in the mid-90s when Java was created, um, there is a very simple technique. Um, and uh, Uncle Bob has, has the same view on this that I do. Uh, avoid long import lists by using wildcards. Long lists of imports are daunting to the reader. We don't want to clutter up the tops of our modules with 80 lines of imports, but people do. And what happens is your, your eyes slip off the screen which is why they add the feature that you can now fold them away. They're so important that they default to, don't worry about this, you don't need to see this. Don't look at the, don't look at the imports behind the curtain. Rather, we want the imports to be a concise statement about which packages we collaborate with. The fine detail about you're actually using this collection class and this collection class and this collection class is not interesting. You're using some utils. Great, let's move on to the next thing of interest. A broad brushstroke view of your dependencies is sufficient. So. I, I went out and raided um, some open source software. I, I tried to find stuff that was, um, uh, uh, that was uh, dependent only on the Java standard libraries and was fairly core code and just doing basic tasks. And uh, there were some much longer ones, but I thought I'd do stuff that was in a reasonable so uh, font size. Um, so we see this was not untypical, um, and it reduces beautifully to one line. I mean... Are you actually that interested in all of that detail? Remember that you've actually got, the, you've got a source file there that you can actually see the code in. This has surprisingly little value. Similarly, we can reduce all of this to, ah, right, we're using beans. That's unusual. Um, reflection and some utils. Great. Um, not as obvious. This is the point. This is noise. I can't actually really see what's going on. If I cared about the detail, well, I can see the detail. It's, it's called code. We've got that. This, is, this should be a broad brushstroke. Here are the dependencies. It should not be fragile that every time I make a slight shift in my choice of collections, if I want to use a tree map instead of a hash map, why is that important here? It's not. It has no relevance. But we're artificially raising its importance. We're creating noise.